Rush hour, West Little Rock. No secret, it's a traffic nightmare. But at the intersection of Chenal and Autumn, it scares us to death. This woman has a much more perilous worry when the light here turns red. Somebody's going to get killed if something isn't done. Hello, Miss Karen. Hello. Her name is Karen Gray. Because there's so much traffic. Yes. And she's taking us to the exact spot of concern. So this is the intersection. Yes. Karen and I watched again and again our cameras catch multiple cars continuing on after the stoplight turns red. The cross lane turns green and they continue to run the red lights. They don't stop, they don't slow down, nothing. Yeah. And it's multiples. Yeah. It's every time the light turns. What Karen wants verified is this. If they are trying to do anything. They being police. So we asked Little Rock Police Lieutenant Steve McClanahan to answer Karen Gray's questions. Karen showed the lieutenant exactly what she sees every day when she leaves her neighborhood. The light turns red, yet cars don't stop. Nothing, nothing seems to be getting done. Always. There are at least two, three, sometimes more cars go through the red lights. They don't even slow down. And they think nothing about it. It's dangerous. Lieutenant McClanahan agrees it is a danger, but also explains it is a low priority. If I'm on the way to a call, if it's a high priority call, like a shots fired or a disturbance, we're going to keep going to that. McClanahan also shares with Karen there's another pressure for police. We are down 57 vacancies, and that includes 18 recruits that are in academy, so they're not useful at this point. They have a 24-week process they have to complete. We understand the importance of traffic enforcement, but the sheer reality of it is, is that there are certain calls, your thefts, your robberies, your burglary, that are just going to take precedence, sure. and it's that way in any city. After their conversation ends, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I appreciate any You're help welcome. you can give us. Karen shares that her concerns were understood. And she says she understands too. And I feel like after talking to him, maybe they are. Maybe they're making the best effort they can with the shortage of manpower. Still, the lights continue to change and cars and trucks continue to fly through. She wishes drivers would just stop. If someone is going to get killed, please be cautious. I don't want anyone to get killed.